Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire. I apologize, it's been a few days since I've posted, you know, I've been out of town at a workshop and I'm still there, but I managed to sneak away and uh, find some time to record. So let's uh, continue what we were doing. If you remember last time we made it here to the town of Aurea, or Aria, or yeah, I'm going to go with Aurea. And, uh, you know, we started collecting some money and apparently everything is made of gold. And there's only one more house we need to visit, and that's this guy's. Oh, they have a light key. Hmm, so maybe that's why everything's glowing, is because uh, it never gets dark here. Oh, let's check out this guy's house here. Ooh, there's a, there's a man. He seems to be pacing via furiously. Let's talk to him. Hmm, all right, sure, we'll help this guy. His daughter's locked in the safe. How do you manage it? Okay. His daughter has managed to get locked in a safe. Where the hell did that happen? Let's go see if we can find her. Down the stairs. Oh, yep, and there she is. And it's locked, but we can't get in. None of our keys seem to work. And, uh, yep, there she is. All right. So all we have to do is find someone who can open locks. Hmm. I wonder where we can find that person. I don't know. Well, before we leave this house, house there's a couple things we can do. Uh, let's go... Let's see. Is it upstairs, I think? If I remember correctly. And then up through here, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's where I want to go. And we get a cure. Cool. And we get a gold tiara. Now, we'll, we'll make use of that later. We're not actually going to wear it, but because it's made of gold, we're just going to sell it. Uh, okay, anything else we can get up here? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so. In here now. Oh, what's up here? Open chest. Ah, 2,000 gold. Awesome. Now, I think that's all we can do here. So, now if you don't, I don't know if you remember, but in the last episode, there was a woman who said that her son had been uh, cast under a spell by some fairies. So, if you recall, we did see someone, uh, uh, we did see a boy walking around in a circle um, by some fairies in the northern cave. So, let's go check that out. What we're going to do here is just, uh, let's see, have a reward. Well, try that. Yeah, the fastest way will probably be to walk back. Well, no, let's see. Is it faster to warp to Tunter? Probably. Oh, I can't use this right now. I'm going to have to leave. So, anyways, what I'm going to do is just, um, you know, I'll just walk back because I need the experience. So I'll just walk back and, oops, the one only see that, have that garden see me. So I'll just walk back and I'll meet you back in that forest uh, from last time. Okay, I discovered it's actually faster to walk from Tantar, uh, to use the warp spell back to Tantar and then just walk from there. So anyways, let's talk to this guy. Remember this guy? Some strange forces keeping him there. And if you recall, if we go out here and go over to the left, there's this little area here that had some fairies in it. Now, if we talk to the fairies... Let's see. If you make him stop logging. No. <laughs> Keep moving till he drops. Okay, yes, that's fine. Oh, good. He's going to forget. Well, that's nice. All we had to do was talk to him. That was nice. You know, we're not going to log. We love trees and nature and all that crap. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. It's not crap, BCS Universe. All right. Now we go over here. All right. And now talk to these fairies. It wasn't me. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's talking to that dude. Okay. Good, he promises to protect nature from now on. And now he's uh, free from the spell. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here. Now we're going to warp back to Arya. Let's see. There we go. Okay, now we're back here at this house. I just decided to come here off screen. And the boy has been reunited with his mother. Oh, I see. So he was influenced by evil. Okay. Man, if she's just able to give us 20,000 gold... How much gold do we have now? We're doing good on gold. If she's just able to give us that much gold, why wouldn't the son just ask his mother for the money? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, there's one more thing I want to do here in Arya, and then we'll move on to the next part of the game. Uh, we're going to go up here talk to, I think it's this guy, item shop, yep, that's what I want, okay, I want to start, right, oops, I want to start by selling, uh, let's see, where is it, ah, there it is, the gold tiara, yeah, we're going to get rid of that, we don't need that, it's, the defense on that isn't very good, and, ooh, I have to use some of my potions off screen, and now we're going to want to buy, since we've done all the tasks in town, and, um, you know, done everything we need to do, I want to purchase a gold bar, we're going to need that a little bit later on, so, 
Okay, that's all I can do here uh, in Aria. So let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, now I think someone in town mentioned that there's a cave to the east. And there's a funny looking dragon thing there, but we'll come back to that much later in the game. Ah, there's the cave. So we'll go ahead and enter that cave. And hey, there's a couple dudes here. Oh, okay. And they're just gonna let us right past. They wouldn't let you pass if you hadn't talked to Ross and asked about the ship. So, all right, let's go. And of course, there's a cave to uh, to get out of here. I don't think we can even open from this side yet. So that kind of sucks. Looks like we'll have to take the long way around. What a surprise. Okay, we got a new enemy here. Let's see, what is it? A bully. Not to be confused with a bull up. Yeah, he's got a decent amount of HP, but again, just use your regular attacks and the E key, and it goes down pretty quickly. All right, let's see. Now we're going to want to go, let's see, up here. And around this way. And pretty much just continue to follow the path. Okay, we're going to head up this way. And it looks like there's going to be another chest which we can't get to. And these locks are getting annoying. I really wish there would be somebody that can open all these locks for us. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to keep following the path this way. Oh, man. And there's some spiders in this cave, too. So this is like a real cave. You know, there's spiders and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. Let's go down this way. I think this is right. Sorry, there's a couple chests I forgot to get back up here. I just remembered. My bad. I actually want to go this way first. There we go. Hmm, this wall appears to have been knocked down, but hey, I got another level for Ryu. Awesome. And we get a shell hat, which really isn't that useful right now, and a cure potion, so pretty cool. All right. I'm going to head down this way. Now we'll come and take a... This one. And now we're going to want to go, let's see, not much we can do there, so all we can do is go upstairs. And up here. All right. And now just head this way. Now we're back on the first floor. And there's also a lot of blinking lights, so why? And Bo got a level up too. Fantastic. Man, that's pretty long. Okay, now we're going to head north past these bats. Ah! No. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, there's no bats there, so. And another locked door. Hmm. Yeah, why are all these lights here? You know what I mean? And another, let's see. Another area that seems to be... Can we check on this wall? Bo can't break the wall. Hmm. I wonder if there's somebody that can. Probably not. There's no way that we're going to be able to uh, have anybody, um, <laughs> you know, be able to break that wall. But anyways... We do this, now we open that gate, so I can easily now go back and forth between the two caves. That's easy. All right. Now we're gonna go back this way. Now we need to go back to that previous fork where the bats were. Which, by the way, which, by the way, there was no, uh, as you can tell, no hidden floors or tiles or anything like that. So we're just gonna go to the south now. And, um... And just keep on moving. Hey, all right, we found the exit. All right, and we're now on this part of the world, which seems much darker than before. Uh, there's a tower there. We're not going to want to go there just yet. There's nothing we can do in there just yet. But uh, we'll come back to it later. All right, let's walk around. All right, now I can't remember if we've, if we've encountered this enemy already, the mage. Um, but I'll show it to you anyways. And then there's the great knight, or the giant knight from before. Mages are pretty easy, weak to physical attacks, so just, you know, take them out like normal. There we go. They can cast some magic spells on you, so just be careful. And there's one more enemy I want to fight around here and show you guys. Hopefully I'll run into it. And there, there, that must be the town of Bleak, but we'll go in there in just a second. And just got another level for Nina there, and she learned a new spell, Zombie 1. We'll talk about that later. Um, and I'm just going to... Ah, here's the enemy I wanted to face. I edited out to this point. The Gold Slime. 
And there's a very specific reason I want to face these guys, and I'll show it to you here in just a minute. Yeah, definitely have a lot of defense. But we got him. Watch this. Ho, ho. 1,200 experience. And you can face up to three of them at a time, so you can make a lot of experience in this area in a short amount of time. But what, what, but what awaits us here in the town of Bleak? Is it really bleak like the town says? Interesting music they got going on here. You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.